All over Uganda's capital, Kampala, people came early to vote. Across the country, polling in most stations proceeded peacefully. But in Kampala, opposition leader Kiza Besaje and his supporters took journalists to a house that they said was a vote-rigging center. The kind of activity we've seen around here, in terms of delivery of materials, right now we've just seen ballot boxes being thrown off over the fence as we demanded that we see them. When they knocked on the gate, some people inside jumped over the back fence. Opposition supporters fought them as they ran away and found them armed. Then police arrived and Bessie demanded access so inside the house. An officer here told us it was a private home. The police later said his access was barred because it's a crime intelligence facility. Bessie was detained and taken to his home for the third time this week. The ruling party says he was trying to provoke police and cause disruptions. Push him inside. Meanwhile, incumbent president Yuri Museveni, who's been in power for 30 years and wants five more, voted in his home area. There will be no violence. If anybody tries to do violence, we shall just get him, put him in the deep freezer, and he cools down until the blood pressure comes down. Back in Kampala, at this polling station, opposition agents say they were thrown out by police for complaining about names being added to the voters' register. Our agent is supposed to have the register. The agents from the ruling NRM party said the police were just keeping order. It is basically the NRM that is calling the shots. It is NRM agents who are throwing away our agents from the polling stations, not the presiding officers. They are telling the presiding officers uh, what to do with the help of the police. And at many polling stations in and around the city, polling materials arrived six or more hours late. At at least three locations, police fired tear gas at angry crowds. At this polling station, riot police came, tear gas was fired here because the voting, the voting materials came about seven hours late. Nobody voted in the end because when the materials came, apparently they weren't in order. So the crowd's been left here, they're still angry. In 15 stations, polling will happen Friday instead. But as Ugandans wait for the results, many opposition supporters are skeptical about the polls. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Kampala, Uganda.